Imagine this. You're at work, sharing a laugh with your colleagues, thinking they're your allies. But what if I told you that behind those smiles could be hidden agendas waiting to derail your career? In today's cutthroat corporate world, one misplaced word or misjudged confidence can lead to catastrophic consequences. Are your work colleagues truly your friends, or are they waiting for you to slip up? Don't let your guard down, your career might just depend on it. There is no such thing as a work friend. It's a common scenario. You've landed your dream job and you're eager to bond with your colleagues. Lunch breaks, coffee chats, and maybe even some after-work gatherings. But here's a crucial thing to remember. The workplace is not the same as your personal life. Today, we'll explore why it's important to maintain a professional boundary with your co-workers and how to communicate effectively to avoid any workplace pitfalls. Pitfall 1. Complaining about the company. Let's start with a story about Emma, a marketing executive. Emma, friendly and open, quickly became popular in her office. She often shared personal stories and opinions with her colleagues. However, during a crucial team meeting, her co-worker, Mark, used Emma's casual complaint about the workload to his advantage, suggesting he was better suited for an upcoming project. Emma was left wondering where she went wrong. Meet Linda, a sales executive. She openly criticized a new company policy among her peers. Little did she know, one of those peers was looking for a way to discredit her to gain a leadership position. Linda's comments were relayed to upper management, tarnishing her reputation and costing her a promotion. Pitfall 2. Not keeping things private. It's not just about what you say against the company. Personal information can be just as risky. Take Tom's case. He mentioned his side business to a colleague in confidence. Soon everyone knew and questions about his commitment to his job started surfacing leading to increased scrutiny and a stressful work environment. Your colleagues can be friendly, supportive, and even mentor-like, but they are also individuals with their own career aspirations. It's essential to distinguish between a work friend and a personal friend. This leads us to two general principles as regards how to deal with your colleagues at work. Principle one, the importance of professional boundaries. First, be mindful of the information you share. It's okay to talk about hobbies and interests, but personal grievances or sensitive opinions might be better left unsaid. Second, observe how others in your workplace communicate and adapt accordingly. And finally, always maintain a level of professionalism even in more casual settings. Think twice before you drink alcohol at the next company event. You never know who would want to hold that against you. Principle two, effective communication strategies. The goal here is to be clear, concise and respectful. When discussing projects, ensure that your contributions are acknowledged and documented. During meetings, express your ideas confidently and give credit where it's due. Consider the case of Alex, a project manager who always made it a point to document his contributions via email and in meetings. When a misunderstanding occurred about who was responsible for a successful project component, Alex was able to demonstrate his involvement, avoiding any potential conflict clearly. Key takeaways. While it's beneficial to have a friendly rapport with your co-workers, it's crucial to maintain a professional boundary. Remember Emma's story and think twice about how much you share. Be like Alex, clear and proactive in your communication. Have you ever experienced a situation where your words were used against you in the workplace? Share your experiences in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more career insights and advice. Stay smart, stay savvy, and keep navigating your career path with confidence, integrity, and foresight. Cheers.